What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jamofi. Now quarantine has got me doing some crazy things and I've actually digged through my bolt collection and pulled out a synchro deck that I had from when probably about three years ago ladies and gents. So what I would like to do with you guys is actually build the deck together. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to profile the deck really, really quickly and it's up to you guys to tell me what cards to buy, which I will definitely go out and do if there's a general consensus and then we can get to making this deck. So let's get straight into the deck profile. So going into the deck, ladies and gents, I'm going to start off with what I thought should be the power cards, aka the win condition, which is a Borrelo Dragon, a Cosmic Blazer Dragon, a Goyo King, and a Junk Speeder. Um, I also thought these three specifically was what I was aiming for um, when I kind of just threw this deck together. Believe me, ladies and gents, this is not the finished article. It's just basically what I had from a structure deck um, and a few things that I had in my junk. So. Well, Jack, sorry, so to say. So yeah, these four are basically what I was trying to climb into. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go through every card and effect, ladies and gents. Like I said, you guys are gonna be the experts this time, cause um, yeah. So, continuing, we have a Formula Synchron, a Stardust Dragon, a Junk Destroyer, a Ally Justice of Catasta, a Junk Warrior, a Stardust Assault Warrior, an Axel Synchron, let me just scoot these up a little bit just so you can see them, a Jet Warrior and a Black Rose Dragon. Now the reason why I've got so many um, Warriors and Junk Warriors is because it kind of synchronizes a little bit with the deck. Um, but also, it allows my um, Link Monster, which I'm about to show you in a moment, which is a Junk Connector. I can actually go into one of these if he's removed from the field, um, which actually ab ab absolutely helps me pop off with plays. But, like I said, these are completely changeable, ladies and gentlemen, completely changeable. Black Rose Dragon, I think I just had one knocking about, so I threw it in here. So yeah, this is that. And for our final um, extra deck monsters, we have two junk connectors. Again, completely interchangeable. Nothing in this deck is set in stone. So yeah, two junk connectors. Um, basically, when he removes from the field, special summons from an extra deck, and that special summon is treated as a synchro summon. So any of those monsters that have junk in its name um, can get their effects off, basically. So yeah. So that's that for the extra deck, ladies and gents. Now going on to the main deck, we are running Triple Junk Synchron, quite like this card. Um, basically, it's a monster Ribono for a level two or lower that's in your graveyard. Quick, easy rank um, level five um, Synchro monster to go into with this card. Um, yeah, if you've got graveyard set up, that is. So yeah, running him at three. There's also a Junk name as well, which is good because it synergizes with Junk Servant, which I'm also running at three. So if you've got a Junk Monster on board, easy special summon, just as simple as that. Could be Synchro, could be Junk Synchron, um, really, really easy. I'm not going to go through all the effects, ladies and gents. Um, like I said, this is more of a speed profile, just to show you what the deck is at the moment. So, um, Triple Doppel Warrior, I like him. He leaves an um, token on field and he's sent to the graveyard for a Synchro summon. So he kind of floats, leaving you with a little bit of advantage, which then allows you to pop up. Um, yeah. Next, Jet Synchron, I'm running this guy at two. Been seeing him used a lot in Orcus, in the Scrap Orcus variant actually, which is quite interesting because of the way he summons himself. Um, yeah, two Jet Synchrons, nice. I have got three, I could put three in here, but I've only got two at the moment. It is a 40 card deck at the moment, by the way, ladies and gents, but like I said, interchangeable. Next, two quick draw synchrons, nice easy special summon, level 5 as well, and you can use it to substitute for any synchro um, or synchron monster that is listed on a synchro master monster. Have to get these right, ladies and gents, have to get these right. So yeah, nice easy special summon and it's a level 5. Um, if you've got the right setup on field, you can actually go into level 8 pretty easily. So yep. Next, two of Yusei's staple cards. 
which is Quill Bolt Hedgehog. Nice, easy special summon back onto the field if you control the tuner. Um, Compose a Black Rose Dragon along with my Quick Draw Synchron. Really, really easy. Um, so, yeah, quite like Quill Bolt Hedgehog at two. Again, could go up to three. Have him at two at the moment. It's up to you guys. Next, we have. Double Red Haired Hasty Horse. I quite like this card. So you special summon it to a column that has no cards in it. If a card is a monster is normal summoned or a card is put in its column, this card blows itself up. But it's an easy special summon, especially if you're going first. Um, and if you do it properly whilst you're going second as well. I quite like this card um, in most decks. Can attack directly as well, so it could come up in time. Um, but the damage that it does is hard. So basically your opponent takes a thousand attack. Um, and it's a level 5 so if you've got the setup again let's say if you've got Junk Synchron in hand you can special summon this normal summon Junk Synchron and there's your um, Stardust Dragon right off the bat uh, yeah so I quite like this card next for some mishmashy one-ups we have a Unknown Synchron we have a Synchron Explorer <clears throat> a Junk Servant excuse the gold rares ladies and gents excuse the gold rares we've got a Watch Cat a Swift Scarecrow, back these up a little bit, <laughs> a Jester Comfit, one Effect Vela and one Rush Warrior ladies and gents. What more needs to be said, so like I said, a mishmash, I think I threw the level 1s in just so I could make Formula Synchron a little bit more consistently um, and some of these Synchrons allow you to special summon themselves, just the Comfort is a nice easy special summon, Effect Veil is just a bit of interruption, that's another thing ladies and gents, I don't have many interruptions in this deck at the moment, so it's one thing to bear in mind, so yeah, I don't even know why I threw that Watch Cat in, um, I don't even contain many um, continuous spells or traps but anyway here we go so we got one synchron chase one the warrior returning alive one night beam one reinforcements of the army one one for one <laughs> one starlight junction let's scoot these up a bit and triple tuning now tuning is probably something that's probably going to stay in the deck however i'm open to suggestion um it's a nice easy um uh, addition and it kind of sets up your graveyard as well, so you can actually mill uh, Cobalt Hedgehog if you're lucky. So yeah, Rota, um, Rota's really useful. The Warrior Turning Relive, I don't know. I don't know how useful it's, it really is. Like I said, this deck hasn't gone through much testing. I've literally just thrown the cards in. So yeah, one for one potentially could be a staple in this deck. I might leave it as it is, but hey ho, is what it is. So that's it for the spells. Probably need caught by the grave as well, ladies and gents. But don't quote me. This is not the finished article. So uh, one call of the haunted, one scrap iron scarecrow, one compulsory evacuation device. Love this card. Uh, a solemn warning, and two sonic stuns. Now the sonic stuns allow you to special summon a tune out from your deck. However, it requires on your opponent attacking you, which means it's a little bit slow and it's a little bit awkward. Um, and it needs it needs to survive basically in order to be able to crack its effect, which is not likely. Um, but anyway, it's in there for the mo mo moment. What's that on the card? Let's get rid of that. It's in there for the moment. So, ladies and gents, that is the end of the deck profile. Like I said, this is a deck in process, and it's a deck that you guys are responsible for. You tell me what to buy, I will go out and buy it, and then I will profile the deck, see where we're at, and then when locals comes back around, ladies and gents, I'm hoping to actually play this deck. So this is good prep. For locals i'm also going to be testing it online on the new ygo pro ladies and gents which are hopefully some of you guys will be able to get involved with me so keep your ears peeled keep make sure you subscribe make sure you liked all of that good stuff um, and i will definitely definitely see you guys on the next video hope you enjoyed peace